I'm James. And I'm Emily. We show you our actual weight loss journey with the keto lifestyle. And our goal is to help you and ourselves lose weight and keep it off. Don't forget to like and subscribe and get ready. Set keto. All right, so we're doing, we did my benefits of keto, surprising benefits of keto. Yeah. And it's now Emily's turn. It so is my turn. I will turn it over to her. So, <laughs> when you say it like that. All right, so James kept talking about his benefits that he was surprised by. And I know I listen to a lot of other people talk about their benefits as far as like, diabetics or blood pressure or different blood panels or whatnot. So as far as me, I've always had very good lab results. Um, so my main goal was to lose weight doing this, but in the process and the journey, these are the things that have changed that's given me a bigger perspective bigger perspective so I wanted to share that with you I'm just gonna sit here and try to look pretty while she talks yeah he is going to be my support <laughs> so the biggest thing for me um, my entire life I know I've mentioned this before in a past video but I've always had issues with my ears um, from the time I was an infant uh, and through adulthood I've always had tubes in my ears Typically, when I get tubes in my ears, they would last about five years, give or take. Um, so I've had them put in my ears about seven to eight times throughout my life so far. Um, last time I got them was back in 2020. And last winter, around January, um, I did have an ear infection. I went to my ENT and... I had my tube was lodged into uh, my ear canal, so I had to have that removed. But since then, I have not had to have tubes in my ears. I've been able to hear. James mentioned I had to have closed captioning on TV. I always had issues hearing. Um, I had to almost yell. Yes. <laughs> so, At the end of the day of having it, there were times that we wouldn't talk because... I couldn't hear him. It wasn't <laughs> worth the effort of raising my voice. Sadly, yes. So, yes. So I had, um, at some point since 2020, I only had the one tube in my right ear and, again, had it removed and I have not needed it since, have not had any ear infections since. And that is just the biggest benefit for me um, other than weight loss. Um, another, number two. Can we just go for a minute? Okay. All right, even for the past couple of days, Emily has been sick with a head cold and just not feeling good. Yes. Normally in the past, if she did not have tubes, that would be an instant. Sure. Ears would get clogged and then she'd have to have tubes in her ears in order for her ears to drain. And she wouldn't be able to hear for a month until she went and did all that. Yes. <laughs> um, She's just now getting over a cold. And yes. there's no problem. It's been totally different for me. <laughs> so very happy about that. My number two benefit, number two, um, I've always had problems with my feet. I walk on my toes. My Achilles tendons are too short, um, but I've refused in the past to have surgery to lengthen them. She tippy toes. Um, yes. So I do walk on my toes. I've always had problems with pain in my toes. Never realized how bad it was until changing the way that we eat. Um, for instance, when we were on vacation and we did have cheat meals, my toes hurt so bad. And it's the weirdest thing because normally you would think that your feet hurt from walking or this or that or your shoes, but it, it was strictly my toes. Um, but that's completely gone. It doesn't matter if I'm out all day, anything. My toes do not hurt anymore. So that's a huge, huge benefit for me. Number three, I have been diagnosed with PCOS, which is polycystic ovarian syndrome. I know it's very common. I know many people have different symptoms. For me personally, it caused very irregular um, menstrual cycle. 
I've gone as much as four years without having one at all. And I've gone as long as having one for a month straight. So um, now I'm very, very regular, shorter cycle period. And it is almost to the date regular for me. Um, no pain. I've been in the hospital from it before um, from a very large cyst on my ovaries, which is very, very painful if you've had it then you know, but um, yeah, cramping completely less than half of what it used to be, and it's just very, very regular for me. <laughs> Good topic, I know. <laughs> the fourth benefit for me is going to be my gut health. I've always been bloated, constipation. I know. James talked about this for him where I went all the time. All the time. Me, I could go week or weeks without. <laughs> and total opposite. Total opposite. Makes you feel horrible. The bloating, just uncomfortable. She would all be, the time. She'd be the one that even if I even if I just went once a day, she'd be like, What is wrong with you? <laughs> because she didn't go. Right. So I, I Eating, the whole lifestyle change into the way I eat and what I eat, I can tell a difference. I'm more regular and no bloating. She used to, she used to take, have to take fiber, Metamucil. Yes. Daily. Every day she had it in her mind that she could not go without loading up on fiber. Yes. Whether it be fiber pills, fiber gummies, fiber drink. <laughs> yes. And I don't think that she takes fiber anymore. I do not. The only supplement that I take is a multivitamin and my Relate. And do you go every day? Um, most days, yes. Pretty regular. So that is another benefit. And my fifth benefit that I wasn't sure if I was going to share, but it is important, is my mental perspective. Initially, changing the way we ate was solely for the purpose that I want to lose weight, right? Correct. Been big, struggled with my weight my entire life. But it has completely changed my perspective on what I'm eating. So it's more of looking at the ingredients. That's why she picked me. That way she could look smaller. <laughs> Looking, looking at the ingredients and looking at my relationship with food, because I know we've mentioned this as well in the past, how we would base things on where we were going to eat. Everything was based around, we, we were picking even vacations around what there was to eat. Yes. And now it's based on what do we want to do? No food involved. What do we want to do? Um, and that just gives you a sense of control over the food, if that makes sense. Does yeah. that make sense? So it's just the whole relationship, trying to eat better foods, re removing bad oils, um, bad ingredients from food and just eating real food. So I know we talk a lot about going carnivore or ketovore. But I don't know if that would be lifelong for me because I love vegetables. But I'm learning which vegetables don't agree with me. For me, it's most vegetables. Even lettuce. Even lettuce? Even lettuce will usually bloat me or upset my stomach. Really? Mm -hmm. So this week, since we've been off BBB and E, the only vegetables I wanted to include this week were mushroom and onion. Those are two that I really, really like and mm -hmm. I really miss and they have not bothered me this week. So next week it'll probably be Brussels sprouts. Aren't them the only vegetables that we've had? This week? Yeah. Yes. Because I'm not the one that's going to pick out a vegetable. Yes. It ain't going to happen. <laughs> Unless he has a salad or something. I do like and a little bit of... And that's usually mostly bacon. <laughs> <laughs> Bacon's a vegetable. Yes. So... We're not doctors. Not any kind of health. Nothing. Physician, anything. Nothing. So this is just 
my opinion, a lot of this has to do with our keto and what we're eating. Mm -hmm. And a lot of it has to do with the bad oils and stuff that we are not eating. Yes. So it's an overall perspective of how we eat and what we're eating. Right? That's right. So um, I know somebody who's a vegan who's been a vegan for four years. I know somebody who eats 100 calorie meals every few hours through the day and eats what they want. And, you know, whatever works for you works for you. But this it, is... This works for us. What works for us and this is what makes me feel good. And this is what... This is the way that we feel is right for us. Yes. So, is that it? That is my five benefits that I wanted to share with you. And if you have benefits that are different, share them with us. I'd like to hear about it. And to all Everyone. of our new subscribers, thank you very much. We appreciate it so much. Everyone, we do. All right, you guys. We really do. Thank you. Have a good night.